What's up, and beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of the Thaumaturge. And I need to show you guys where are we at before we proceed to the next episode. So as you guys can see, everything has been maxed out. I know, I know that it might have not been a bad idea to wait all the way here to proceed through this area. It couldn't have been bad. Well, then at the same time, well, I believe that by mistake I found this. I don't think so, but maybe who knows. I'll show you guys in a second. In my journal, you guys can see we still have the Taylor's Dilemma. There is 10 Taylor pieces. You can see it in the belongings. Whenever you click on, uh, I believe it is, is it in the belongings? There's, yeah, here it is in the vest. There's like around 10 of them or something like that. There was a place where I saw the amount that was needed uh, inside of the game, of course. Memory Horizon cannot be proceeded. And then we have these two, Imperial Hotel and the Rear Bank in the Urban Secrets. Most of them, they just gave me, once again, just images. I'll show them to you at a different time. And oh, this is it, the fashion magazines. You need 10 of them. That's where I saw it. So, yeah, the, this thing for the tailor, we know. And these two things, the rear bank and the, and, the, this, and the Imperial Hotel, one of them is locked behind some bars, so we cannot access it. The other one has a cutscene with some interesting stuff that might be an extra quest. So I don't want to touch onto this one. We have the main quest that we gotta proceed, Anna. Anna, to show you guys, I wanna see into my belongings. This is how we look right now. We, I did change my hairstyle and change my facial hair just so we can look a little bit fresher for this um, party that we're gonna attend. My outfit looking mighty, equipping this one with, I believe, wait, these are new. Okay, whatever. I'm equipping this one. I don't really like... The, I mean, I like the look, but the green with the red looks so fire. And then the pants, these ones look fine. Instead of this one, see, it's like... These ones just look too fire. And of course, the green vest is just mm, so good. Anyways, that's pretty much where we at. So, let's just go inside. Let's let's speak with our family. And um, let's go to the party. We have things to do. Anyway, for a reminder, you guys enjoyed this game. Don't forget to let me know by leaving a beautiful like. And don't forget... To subscribe to the channel if you want to catch up with more content. It's always appreciated. Nothing to do. Where is where is the where is the the mate of the house? Are you back causing trouble for the family? Who knows? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently, I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go or have you changed your plans? No, no, I'm still ready. I'm still ready. I mean, I already know that what I need to do, I cannot do it. So let's get dressed and set off. Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at that. So nice. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. Ooh, ooh, nah, you don't do that, come on. Return the compliment, baby. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Huh. 
Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Yeah, I mean, everything is gonna be alright, but after my display last time, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna... everything will be alright. Everything's alright, I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Man, my boy is pretty straightforward. I mean, <laughs> upon entering the Imperial Hotel, Ligia warned me about this place. It's a ruthless environment of true vipers, where you must play by the rules unless you want to be preyed upon. Oh, that's why you guys remember that quest that I was talking about. I wasn't able to see it. Like this one over here, uh, Imperial Hotel. I wasn't able to access it because I don't have so. Now we can probably, I believe, just just in something out if I do this. Yes. So look at that. Let's let's have a nice look at the whole place. Look at that mighty beautiful place. We can get the experience and then we can go back in and Yep, that's it. That completes, if I'm not mistaken, that should complete the mission. Yep. So now the next one has a cutscene, so it might have a little bit more, that's why we didn't do it. But now we can actually proceed and get things moving. Another one of the drawings, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Look at the level of detail. So beautiful. I'm more experienced because we're going to need those. Now, excellent. We're going to be needing to, like, discover the secrets of this place. So let's go for it. Golden Cage is an exotic bird watching me with its deadly little black eyes. On the Golden Cage is a whisper of a woman who contemplated opening it. She was close to releasing the birds from the lark to, ha to watch the ensuing chaos. Yet, something stopped her, and the birds are still in the cage. Oh, the temptation. That, that temptation, I'm pretty sure, has to do with probably the fact that she would have messed up and people would have judged her for what she has done. And this is Madame Samira. The poster surface radiates with the positive emotions of passersby who've laid eyes on the advertisement. Such a curiosity about the mystery, psychic or excitement to reveal. By a quick heart rate, apparently, Madame's senses are quite popular. Nice. And let's see. Oh, he stopped me. He's like, yo, slow down there, buddy. Slow down. Okay, uh, find in her apartment or find the person with the flaw. Now, here's the thing. Does that circle expand even outside of the of the place? I'm just very fine. No, it doesn't seem like it, so now we have to go back inside. Sure. This whole area is pretty stacked. Let's speak with different people to see what's up. Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Shulski. Irina Orova of Those Orovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Shulsky. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? Ah, look at that, because we discovered some stuff, we can speak a little bit more. Nice. What about the glided cage? We wanna we wanna tempt people for the salute. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Come now, we won't tell anyone. Ooh, this is a little bit first. It could be. I mean, maybe it will work. Let's try it out. Or maybe I shouldn't. Do you like being a tease? <laughs> Forgive me, ladies, for teasing you like this. Here's the secret. Come on, we're dying to know. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. 
Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulski? Well, well, ooh, this could be cool. Like, maybe we can do a trade. Tell me something, I'll tell you something. In exchange for my discretion, I need another secret of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. What should I choose? Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty. None of your fathers know? None. Especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? This seems to be pretty, pretty, pretty healthy. It seems not to hurt anybody and it's feeling pride. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. That trick with the cage. You've impressed me. Mm-hmm, there you guys. And now that's enough. I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumyantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. Nice. He defiant debutantes. Sophia's companions told me a secret that Sophia sneaked out of the soiree with an unbeknownst to her father. He considered it an exciting experience. There's no denying that it's quite an adrenaline rush for them. Nice. Now we have one more person to speak with and I believe that would be this guy over here. And let's see, Sergei, what you have in store for What me. did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Oh, keep listening. Keep talking. Old Scawan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or... Well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Infatuation. Sergei wants to impress his companions. He hopes they'll see him as a worthy candidate for governor. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Sergei has plans regarding Sofia, but they're yet to be realized. My name is Viktor Shulski. Well, there we have it. I, I wanna... No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't like what you guys are saying. Mm. Yeah, probably. And I don't like what I just heard. Especially about my sister. And uh, what are you going to do about it? Hmm... Yeah, I don't think starting a fight in the middle of a party is the best idea, right? So... Pardon me, gentlemen. I promised that I would be well behaved tonight. Lunatic. Would have been awesome to clap them cheeks, but what is this bottom over here? Hello there. With a mother of pearl handle, like used predominantly to conceal their once cheeky cream. Oh, a classic special move, cheap but highly effective. The fan's owner dropped it with playful intent. With the purpose of drawing my attention, she will not be disappointed. Sophia. Ooh. So now we have to like find Sophia, like nobody else we can speak with. And look at that. You guys see like with those different, like those slight changes, we actually change the way that everything is moving right now. I think that that's so cool. We gotta find this part, but right now, Sophia is a little bit more important, in my opinion. No door can be opened. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. They're supposed to... What? Oh, they're both locked. Okay. I was like, okay, that's a little bit strange. Are these? No, they're not. 
Ooh. Who are you, sir? Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? Well, don't be rude, man. I just... I just... yeah. The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. Yeah, absolutely. I came with my sister, to be fair. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? No reason. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. Ooh. Ooh, but I, I like this one. My sister didn't inherit everything. That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Ooh, this is interesting. No, no, no. I, you know, if I lie a little bit, it might like tick some and I might learn a little bit more Two about it. more than I can carry. I left it at home. Understandable. And how do you know my father? Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Ones that were good for your family. Perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. That guy is sneaky. Really sneaky. However, that's pretty much it. So as of right now, there's not much that we can really do. So, ooh, what is this? Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Because we are in here. So it's kind of strange how it works because when you move forward, it kind of like zooms in, but you're at the bottom. It's just, it's just a little bit strange in my opinion. But hey, let's go inside of the suit. Ah, and the true party begins. This is where we have to find. Look at that, the whole red stuff. Okay, so that's how you know how things move. That's cool. Have some cognac. I don't want to drink just yet. I will, though. But not, not right now. Anybody waiting for me here? I can. If you guys excuse me, I need to use, well, I guess this toilet. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Bye. Mm, get a little bit of cognac. Let's see what do we discover. The same have words. Beautiful have smiles. As I saw glances from behind a fan. Merely appearances. The truth is that I found myself in a den of snakes. People must treat them carefully here. Oh, yo, that's an incredible. F wow. Yo, I might be crazy, but that looked absolutely fantastic. I can speak with Stellan. S S S, whatever her name is. Madame Samira, Dramaturgy don't really want to speak to her. Me. There is something here. I don't want to talk to her just yet. There's things that I need to do. Since table, the fabric of the tablecloth is permeated with weariness and nervousness. The emotions are fresh and clear. They've just traveled from Samira's fingertips, and she held her palms, and she held her palms there to avoid biting her nails from stress. Uh, what is it? Was it me who had that effect on her? Maybe because she doesn't really know what's happening, right? I get that. This is my sister. Yeah, that's Ligia. More things to read over here. This is the final. No, not yet. The lips that sipped champagne a moment ago kept uttering cutting words from contempt. Someone clearly regrets marrying the alleged idiot Luisa. But I doubt she's an idiot in this. She's the idiot in this relationship. Yeah, you're good. Now, we were talking about... This whole place is already done. No, there's one more. Look at that. 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 Let's go. There's one more in here. Rocandos, an image emerged from the flames and a hand of dancing over the fire, a gaze that follows it and lips utter the words of a man of excitement, a promise of capturing the certain of success. 
You will be mine. Who is this about? What? Maybe that's enough. What do you want? You! Is that a? Is she? A trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. Have you come here to torment me, unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? Yo, that was interesting. Madame Samira is not only a mysterious psychic, but also a thaumaturge. Aware of the wild Salutor's presence, she wants to capture him for herself. So she's not happy to have another thaumaturge around. She's clearly determined to get the Salutor, which is why she's trying so hard to dissuade me from the hunt. Hmm. Let's. Let's talk about it right out of the get go. I noticed a wild Salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. That's actually not enough. I'll do whatever I want. Oh, find out how much knows. What do you know about this Salutor? Do you know its name? Uh, don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the floor. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. Yeah, that salute that she has looks incredible, but I hate that I have to blurry a little bit. But anyways, eh, I'll do whatever I want. That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that salute. <laughs> you mean yourself? I actually do. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? Yeah, we're done. So the person with the flaw will take part in Samira's sense. The thaumaturge cleverly planned everything. Nice. So should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulsky, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulsky, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. That was super cool. That was so cool, like the fact that the... the, the, the yeah, there it is, that's the city if you guys want to read about her. You guys can also read about like each one of them that we have been finding. That's fine. So... Okay, so we saw everything, but unfortunately that's not enough. That doesn't really trigger every single trick on the book that we have right now. We got people that we have to speak with, however. Is there something? No, we already took care of it. Where's my fan? Is that you? Wait, I have a fan. Mm. So I need to speak with them and then I cannot really exit. That's blocked off. Right, so yeah, the, the only people that we can speak with is these guys and then Lydia. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? Oh, so she's the owner. Uh, so what do you think about the soiree? No, no, let's get to the point. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you. Both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. I wouldn't be prideful here, but I do want to know a little bit more about father, though. It's needed. Svetlana Petrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. 
Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's séance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. What's, what's the deal with that thread? Does that mean... Sort of suggestions, tell her if you should talk openly with me. Maybe she's anxious about all the gossip hungry ears around us. Still, I can feel she wants to tell me something. I should watch her surroundings closely. Maybe I can learn something that way. Yeah, so there is something that we're actually missing in here. I don't really want to speak with anybody else. Oh, here it is, the thoughts. Oh, maybe we can... Are we going to learn something new? In the bathroom. Oh, no, it's here. How did we miss I this? Felt something. Where is it? Usually steady hands are shaking as her eyes follow the written words. He was, he was watching her. She already knew that. But how there he threatened her. Agitated, she threw the note in the furnace. Too bad she couldn't get rid of the stalker that easily. The remains contained the author's concern about Estava, uh, Svetlana's condition. Expressed in a seemingly kind-hearted tone. The message ends with a veiled threat foreshadowing a desire to interfere. Okay. And then the bed. Level up? Not really. The fire carries memories of a yearn for lighten, lighter heart, passion, and sense of security. Two people found solace in each other here. Two people. Svetlana and my fa. Okay. The seal remembers. It remembers the tentative planning, the recurrent doubts, the peaceful sense that everything was as it should be. And other chaotic thoughts caused by passionate intoxication that I'd rather not know. There's something in the bathroom too. That's a level up. The chest is kept at ready. Still, as Svetlana's personal items were put into the chest and then removed. All due to her growing anxiety and uncertainty. Should she pack and leave? Again, a restless hand closes the empty chest and decides to keep on waiting. Okay, so I, I think the bathroom is going to have a little bit more for us. Because if you guys see, yeah, there you go. It's, it's a little bit tricky, but we can check it out. The affection and gratitude of one's woman covered by the shame of another. Though an honest gift from Tsarina, Svetlana feels guilty every time she sees it. Right, so what are we trying to learn about her? One last thing maybe? There you go, that's the end. Melted candle. Solidify wax carries a memory of, on, of honest grief mixed with fear. However, those emotions were quickly conceal with well-practiced composure. This candle is best for a world for the disease with what Svelata could afford. No wonder Svelanta was reluctant to talk if she's afraid of someone watching her closely, especially if that someone knows a lot about her, and maybe even her pet up desire to escape. Besides, she had an affair with my father. Maybe I can make her confide in me. Then I'll ask her about what I came here for, the Black Grimoire. So now we can leave the place a little bit in the balcony. She should be waiting for me. I can push her a little bit more and then we can learn a little bit. But we need to find about the flaw of what... Uh, whatever. This is better. The gossip. I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Victor. Ask. Oh, here we go. The fair, the travel chest, all of them. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. Ooh, ooh. But we, we don't need to press about that. The Ochrana? It stands for Atelenie po ochranieniu abszczestwiennoj bezpasności i pariatka. In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but most importantly, the court. And me and my Suarez too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. 
I see. So, kinda like being nice helps a lot. I wanna mention about the travel chest. That large travel chest. You changed your mind. About whether or not to pack. Right then, I wanted to escape badly. But that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But Romans wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. Damn. But yeah, I mean, there's no need to press her. But mm, this one is interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll press her a little bit. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls. And on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Yeah, it is. It is powerful. But now we can go for the missing grimoire. I hoped you might know something about the black grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? There's nothing there. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. Okay, so we learned a little bit more about it. Now we have to go back inside. I thought the the thoughts were leading me somewhere, but is wait, was there more? Wait, this thing has more? Excuse me? I don't know. Leather. Father letters to Svetlana. Okay, so now we're done. Yeah. So father did send some letters to her, but at this point we already spoke with her, so we don't really care. And now we have to find the person with the flaw. Ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? Interesting. Number zero, the fool. The car almost burns with the emotions left on it. The thaumaturge must have pulled all the hostility she could to summon into the car. Hostility towards me. Maybe I will join the scene soon. If only out of a spy. Examine the card. Fool. Our dear madame is fooling around and thinks you can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Oh, it's okay. In the dark, Madame Samira asked to cover the windows and dims of light. The seams required a certain area, so the apartment must be kept in darkness until it's over. So... Oh, wait, there's even more. Jeez, why is this it's just popping? I mean, I take it, but sure. Ranger and Rulin serve her. She was thinking of Teoflis Kalski. Madly in love with her, willing to do anything for her. So she gave him an impossible task, trying to comply. He set off to Africa and died tragically, squandering his family fortune. 
Joy drifts over the mirror surface, her heart throbs when everyone is looking, when her name echoes everywhere, Sophia. So what if some lose their heads for her, literally? It only makes for better choices. So we're trying to learn about Sophia, but as of right now, this whole place is full. We're trying to find more about the flaw. I think I could speak with my sister and get this sorted out, but... So for right now, it's not really that worth it, is it? Wait, I can see. I don't see any senses. Ah, look at... Wait, it's... Where did all of this come from? Ashtray, the smoking was accompanied by sofa conversation. Sophia's friends were happy she came with them, despite her father's ban. They liked to watch her clever intrigues that provide them with topics of gossip. The cigarettes... But have women's lip mark on them. If only their father saw what they were doing. Sophia spreads her wings when she is out of her father's sight. Watching her scheming is a sheer pleasure. Okay, we have two things to watch. No, just one more over here. That should be enough. No, there's more. A frustrating thought penetrated Sergei's mind as he sat on the chair watching Sophia from afar. Why did Sophia suddenly start ignoring him? He would do anything for her if she asked. The problem is that Sofia won't speak at all. She takes no notice on him anymore. And then my guess would be that if I go into the bathroom, there might be some new stuff. No. Oh, wait. Now we're following. Oh. Huh. Do we have to speak with you? With Sofia, yes. Now we can speak with her. That's what's happening. Fruski, may I have a word? Yeah. How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order. And now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Wait, what? Um... Sure. And how might my powers prove useful to you, miss? Well, rather than truth, a dare sounds good to me. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. Um... A little bit deceptive, but I'll take it. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. Wait, so now we have to get more... See, so... I mean, sure, it's it's just interesting, like, the things that we have to do to be able to discover this final secret. But that's the final one. Numerous empty glasses indicate someone here is a fast drinker. Sip, sip, sip. Maxim swings alcohol as he watches the surroundings, focusing mainly on the ladies and lodging for companionship. Irina is looking pretty today. Wow. Another secret. Maxim is lonely as we all are from time to time. He tries to dunk his feelings in alcohol, but the effect is the opposite of his intentions. His attention is drawn by Sofia's Callum's friends, Irina. Oh, he, he kinda likes the little girl, let's go. I mean, get to it. Decorative sofa. She sat on the sofa watching the crowd, usually filtration and playful. That, that, that just disappeared, so it's a little bit sad. Now we have to like discover even more secrets, because this place, I mean, it doesn't stop, right? Find out more about Sofia's companions. At the very least, those kind of like send you around and allow you to like do some stuff and I wonder what type of impact is this going to have in the end. Final stuff, I believe. Yeah, there it is. The piano. The bass reflects the strong emotions bubbling up in Sergei. Jealousy mixed with fear. Jealousy discredits at me as he considers me his rival. Fear that Sofia will ignore him when I'm around. Talking about Maxim. Sergei can stop thinking about Sofia. He cares about her so much he's willing to do anything for her. He cannot understand why Sofia doesn't reciprocate his feelings, which frustrates him. He considers me a rival admirer. And then that should be enough for me to speak with Sofia, right? They are getting impatient. What have you found out? Look at that. Let's go. Ooh, I'll start with the fan. That sounds cool. En parlant de secrets, I found your fan. Oh, and I was just thinking that I hadn't remembered where I'd left it. Very interesting. The fan revealed to me that you dropped it on purpose. Oh. You've caught me! I was hoping the right person would find it. And here we are. It worked. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? 
We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? Ooh, meaningful questions. Sophia seems to be toying with me. She keeps boldly asking about my private matters, looking for strength in her impertinence. You only wonder if she's toying with Victor Sosky, the person or the thaumaturge. Um, nah, I wouldn't say that. I'll avoid the question. Maybe we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Sosky, our time is up. Sofia and I must leave for the seance. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, the Salitor chased Sofia Scowan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? Unless you count sending her admirer on a deadly trip to Africa. If I want to discern that little schemer's flaw, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. There you go. After the game of truth, there's something flicking. Oh, okay, whatever. So now we have to take part in this. So let's just get going. And there she is. And there he is. And let's go. This is going to be fire. Let's find this. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with these souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? I'll, I'll be kinky. Hmm. <laughs> Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Reveal Sergei's devotion. Ooh, I like this! Your devotion goes unnoticed, and you know full well why that is. I do. I am your father's choice, not yours, aren't I? Quiet, please. Well, this will make your companions happy. Making fools of people, heaven forbid. Sit down. My poor heart. Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. Tell her to summon the soul of Theophil Skalski. That's gonna be so great. I don't wanna do it with the guy. I think these ones are... You are acquired the knowledge of country required to give the response. Yeah, because I worked for this. There is one soul I'd like to summon. Whom do you mean? Theophil Skalski. Does that name mean anything to you? The poor man drowned on the way to Africa, didn't he? No, it wasn't like that. I didn't know he would be killed. Ooh, you know that he's scheming. Oh, oh, this is rough. This is rough, but saying this in public is rough. Are you planning a similar fate for Sergei? All this just to get under your father's skin? So what if it was? Ooh. Do you know what it's like to live in the shadow of a cold, absent father? Rings a bell. <laughs> Is it such a sin to want to be loved? The powers you and your kind have are terrifying. That's why people hate you. That's why my father is cracking down on you. All that matters is I have what I wanted. Here you go. Governor General Scallon is not very fond of Thaumaturge. Why am I not surprised? Another person who sees an obscure threat in us. Um, wow, that was big. Sophia Scallon. The scheming of Scallon's daughter has made her the elite's favorite. Her plots provide distraction and make up the content of newly spread gossip. 
At the moment, I am the objective of her games. She's teasing me to spite her father, who hates thaumaturges. Or is it just a charade to mask her loneliness? Don't you dare! <sighs> you were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Uh, I'm gonna listen to you. What's up? Maybe, maybe that way I can build that relationship with Tell her. me, what don't I understand? Do you know who she is? Who her father is? I'm doing her a favor, yeah. This isn't my first time. I'll free her from her floor. I know how to end this. You're right. Sophia Skawan was meant to have her floor removed, discreetly. But I suppose it's too late for that, isn't it? Hmm. Resolve the hand of Velis over here? Nah. Wait. No, 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 no. I like Velis. I want it. It's also too late to stay silent. What's done can't be undone. Sophia Skawan is now the center of the scandal. I have this under control. I know how to give Sophia's story a happy ending. I hope we don't all come to regret it. I really like this. This is so good. <sighs> she looks so good too. Or he. Veles. And I do not get any help, but I don't need to improve anything, we can start the fight. Now, we can be smart about the way that everything works. So, the new creature is gives a 50% chance of dealing double damage. So, he's probably gonna be boosting these guys. Now, this guy is gonna attack next turn, and this guy is gonna take, but they're not immune to anything except for this one reducing damage. So, first things first, we wanna use all wound on these guys, right? And then... I'm gonna trigger the chicken. The chicken is just so good. And what's gonna happen is that I am gonna try to... Can I... Do I wanna remove your turn? Not really. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one so I can remove the negative states and I can reduce focus. Uh, I can start reducing the focus. Mm, which one are you weak against? Ophir? Uh, two, 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 two. Not enough. I have to work on this. That was great, increases his power, that's good, but that's not enough for you, because now I can destroy you. And I can have the chicken doing the same thing. Perfect, now this guy is gonna attack. This guy over here has something that inflicts damage, this lippity bug. So that's gonna be really dangerous. I can handle this guy over here. Or I can spread the corruption. He won't be able to do much and he's gonna die next turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start No 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 I need to I need to defeat him right away. Yeah, let's let's take care of him pretty fast. And then what is this? No wait. Ah oh, freak, I could have killed him. Dang it. Um Can I cancel my move? Oh yeah, I, ca I have I always have I always been able to cancel my move? I think I have, and I just didn't do it. This one will kill yes or yes. And then for you, I'm gonna start tapping hard. Because this one I can make it disappear. So two turns, that's more than enough. Well, that was a little bit disappointing of an attack. Oh no, he comes. Oh, the shot. Nine damage, excuse you? One out of ten chances that you deal the highest that you can. Um, okay, I have to start working on him. So he's going to start hitting really hard. With you, I can prepare a massive ass bite and take care of him. So this should be fine. Beautiful. And I can finish him off. Yeah, whether he likes it or not, this is over. Okay, here we go. 
This is where the challenge begins, okay? Um, I could take care of her fast. Who's gonna attack first? He attacks first, but he attacks with him. Uh, they're both weak against the Vuvavak. So I could go ahead and I can literally use him right here. To like break him. Once you break him, I can start doing a lot of action. Or I can start doing a lot of damage. She can go down though in like two turns. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna charge it up and let's get going with this. Increases his power. That wasn't good. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just charging because I want to take care of him. And then I can use bloody and finish her up this turn before... You know what? I'll take my chances. Let's go for it. Oh, come on. We did the double damage right there. That was a waste of turn. But this one is charged. So I can do a lot of damage to you, sir. Say goodbye to your life. As of you, my friend, I want the extra healing because I need it. The damage is just disgusting. Oh, 39. Disgusting. Give me that healing. 11. Perfect. And the victory is mine. First try this victory. I actually feel happy about that. Uh, we're going to be summoning this guy so we can actually remove his powers. And then... You know, I'm actually tempted to do a couple of quick attacks on him. Uh, yeah. Good damage, good damage, good damage. There is a reason why I did that. It's because I can do for the second attack and then that's going to finish him off. And this one also attacks this turn. Not this one. This one. Oh, that's too fast. But I think I can make him attack this turn, maybe? No. I'll take the damage, though. Eight. Yes! Just wait until Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. Sofia? Did you enjoy the show? My best so far. So, I suppose now is the time to applaud. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, we messed up here. Uh, I admit to everybody it was your fault. Grand Sophia Peace. I like this one because of mine, but I'm, I'm kind of... Mm. Let it sink in that you're free. Finally. Neither your father nor your environment define you. Everyone heard those atrocious words from my lips. I can't undo that. But you're right. You freed me. Uh... Mm, yeah, no, I, I won't talk. Yeah, I'll just... What will you do now? First, I'll apologize to Sergei. I was cruel to him. What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. Farewell, Viktor Shulsky. See you. No, I don't think so. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully, or should we show him out? <laughs> you know... Let's just restrain us. I would have loved to fight, but let's take it easy. No need. I can make it to the door. <laughs> Madame, honored guests. Victor, don't scare me like that. Mr. Sursky, are you all right? I think it's time for us to go. I'll snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you for an interesting evening. Did I mess up again? I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. Can I... Wait. Oh, am I leaving? Oh, I don't want to leave, but I'll mention it. Sleep well. I'll come back in the morning. 
You're going out? Where? To get rid of my pain. There you go, and now we capture on one thing. Okay, we gotta... Okay, what's up? What do you have to say now? What's up, Rasputin? Hello? 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 Victor? What? What? Wait, 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 sure, but... Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? Uh, I don't, I don't want to know about any of these, but sure. What, what are you calling about? Is there any specific reason why you're calling me? I wanted to... Need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? Uh, I'll try, sure. All right. So where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh... I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. There you go. And I think for this specific one, we are probably going to be wrapping things up right now. In the next episode, we got things to do. We got to speak with Rasputin. So he can actually remove uh, the, the darkness and then we gotta do this piece of friendship so probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show some some stuff here and there before we actually tame the darkness because that's probably gonna progress the mission and i also want to share the riverbank too so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i know that these ones are large or large like lengthy but honestly speaking i think that it, it feels kind of bad like just to chop the episodes in half before once we're doing like one of these missions but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one